Hey, what's up? I'm Luke Dubs. I'm El Gusto. This is Hermitude. You're watching Speaker TV. Pow. <laughs> Yes, we have. We played in 2012, I believe it was. Yeah, Groove in the Moon 2012, and we're here in Bendigo, and it was absolutely freezing, I do recall. That's right. And there was many, many hoodies worn, but... So it's nice to see the sun this time around. We're actually trying to get out there as much as possible and soak it up. Our first band. Oh, no, the old first band question. It's yeah. um, It was called Funk Injection. Ah, uh, terrible name. Um, how did you guys come up with that name? I, I actually, I'm, I'm assuming no responsibility oh, for that. Oh, just <laughs> it out and then steps away. <laughs> Look, I was 14 at the time. I think it had to do with fuel injection, didn't it? Yeah, I saw it on the side car. I thought it said funk instead of fuel. <laughs> it was a good kind of um, platform for us, and it also ended up being a, a hip-hop band with Earthboy called Explanatory a few years down the track. We did an EP on Elephant Tracks, and then and then we kind of got into Hermitude, and that kind of fell by the wayside a bit. It's definitely like it's um, I think we're really spoiled in a way with Elephant Tracks, just because we we I guess we've never known any other kind of way with a label and like the the kind of relaxed atmosphere, the way it's the way it's run, and the, our dealings with them is just so. It's kind of like just hanging out, really. It doesn't feel like you're going to have a, a meeting with the label. You're just kind of going and having a friend, having coffee with a friend or something. And, um, but not to downplay what they do either. Like they've been fantastic for us, and they just like continue to grow with us as well. So it's fantastic. Until the cops come, until the cops come, bang on them walls, until the roof falls, and then the cops come, make the place go down. And you never shut this shit down. Shut this down. It's it's a it's a more stripped back record. Like previous records, we've you know a lot of the space is filled with textures or sounds or whatever. Whereas this time, we've really tried to hone in on what the focus of, is of the song and leave that space that is around it and just. Um, yeah, that was that was our kind of goal. Is like we stripped back our setup and we just really wanted to write great songs. And then what happened was, yeah, you know, you have a more kind of minimal record, I guess, and, which is actually really hard to do. Like having like less. So the the new record's called Dark Knight Sweet Light, and it's coming out May 15 on Elephant Tracks. So uh, yeah, check it out. <laughs> 